Hi, let's see how to use drawing tools on MT5. All the drawing tools are here on the bar above your monitor. First, you have the vertical line. Since you can put it along the X axis, this means you can use it to mark a specific period of time on your chart. For example, let's say some news came out five days ago and you want to easily see how the pair moved after that specific moment. You draw a vertical line in that moment and you'll be able to find that starting point you're interested in even in different time frames. Most traders don't use the vertical line though. You click on it and you draw it across where you want to use it. If you want to delete it, just right click on it and click on delete, okay? Let's use the horizontal line now. This one can be used along the Y axis. So it's perfect to mark support or resistance zones. Let's say you want to draw a support zone over here. This is a nice support zone. When you are no longer interested in this support zone, you can delete it like we did with the horizontal line. The third line we are going to talk about is the trend line. We select it from up here and let's say you see a trend over here, right? To draw it, you need to click on point A and point B of your trend. You can move it around to adjust it by clicking on the middle dot and dragging it. For deleting it, the process is the same we used with the prior two, okay? We also have the channel tool. There is not a clear position to correctly place a channel on this chart, so I'm going to use a reference image. The channel tool is used to detect resistance and support boundaries that follow a trend. That means it's presenting higher highs or lower lows. You can draw it across your charts and the deletion process is the same as the ones before. It's as simple as that. And this is your text tool. It lets you write over the charts. You can give it a name if you like, but the text that will show on the chart is the one you put on description. Let's change the description to EURUSD. It's super useful and you can drag it by click and dragging on the dot. You can also change the color, modify it, and you can delete by right clicking and selecting delete. There are also these sorts of stickers you can use to remember things later. For example, this is a buy signal. You can just drop it here and you can delete it when it's no longer useful. Same thing for everything that we have over here. Thumbs up, thumbs down, and so on and so forth. See you on the next video where we are going to talk about how to use the ruler or how to measure price movement. See you there.